Hi friends, welcome back to another build challenge in The Sims 4. Today we're gonna be attempting Kate Emerald's new shell challenge. This one's a, a doozy, if you will. But before we get into it, I wanna let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Udi. I am so excited to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Udi. If you use code SIDMAC at checkout, you can get $30 off and join the Udi dance party with me. I ordered the purple bunny one. Hold on, let me, let me show it off. <laughs> and it has little turtles on it and little bunnies. Let me do a little model. If you click on the link in the description, you can use code SIDMAC at checkout for $30 off of your new Udi. Here I am rocking my new purple bunny Udi <laughs> with turtles on it. It's the cutest, most wholesome thing. Udi is perfect for gamers because it's got the wrist cuffs that are perfect for a comfortable gaming experience. Your sleeves aren't gonna fall over your controller or fall over your keyboard. The large pockets on the front are perfect for holding your controller. You can hold so many snacks in there, all while being wrapped up in this warm and cozy shirt a fleece blanket hoodie. Thank you again to Udi for sponsoring this video. Again, I love my Udi. If you guys want to get your own Udi like me, you can click on the link in the description. Use my code SIDMAC to get $30 off or 25% off in Norway. Use that link in the description. Use my code SIDMAC. Thank you, Udi, for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it. You can find Kate's shell challenge on the gallery under Kate Emerald. Here it is. We're going to download this and try it out. But here it is on my lot. Basically, like any other shell challenge in The Sims 4, the primary rules are that we cannot touch the walls, we cannot change what is already here. And this one has a bit of an added struggle in the fact that I can't change my platforms either, which I'm not excited about because look how freaking many there are. So first thing I like to do when doing a shell challenge like this is paint the walls a different color because in this particular shell challenge, there are walls that are like separate from the other ones. I don't want to accidentally delete any of these or move them by accident because once we get into adding all of these walls, it could maybe get a a little confusing. I really like this shell because I can kind of see where I'm supposed to go for it. Kate Emerald is very good at making shell challenges. A long time ago, I did one of theirs. It was a jigsaw <laughs> shell challenge in The Sims 4. It was so hard, but one of my favorites to this day. So when I saw she put out another one, I was so excited to give it a go. There is a hole in the floor here and I'm not going to delete that, but I am going to enclose it so that I can make sure that we keep the hole. I'm going to use the basement tool on this floor so that below it, I'm going to make sure I have a room there. So while I'm not allowed to delete any of these purple walls here, I am allowed to add my own on the interior and the exterior. So I'm kind of just like taking what I've got and changing it a little, fixing it. And I think once I square this off, we're going to have an enclosed home here. We'll just make sure that we've got a ceiling on the bottom floor and the top. What is going on? And I'm going to make sure there's a hole in the top, which I don't know what I'm going to put in that hole yet. There's a hole in my roof, but this is kind of looking like my shell so far. I think I might add a flooring piece so that we just cover up that little bit. But other than that, I think this is what I'm going to roll with. I think I'm going to try and roof this with a platform today. In my head, I'm visualizing like a retro sort of thing. I don't know with the stairs leading up, the placement of my door. My door is obviously going to be right there where my stairs are leading up. I feel like a mid-century modern today, maybe, or I don't know, something kind of funky is what I'm feeling. Something bright, something colorful. I've been doing a lot of like normal sort of builds lately, so I feel like it would be fun to try something else. What if we went in with a rounded platform for my roof and we just adjust it so it's hanging over a little bit and then I can adjust my platforms, bring it up to height. That could look kind of cool. And then for this like awkward part, one of the rules is I'm not allowed to change the platform or the wall height. So I can't go in and adjust that. I'm trying to avoid it for that reason, but maybe we can bring this one up one more, this one up slightly higher than this platform. And then we're gonna end up with a little bit of a detailed roof that is still flat. Let's add some platform paint. I'm going to put that on my stairs and also on my roof. And what color should we go with for this? Part of me thinks pink or like blue. I'm picturing like a beach home almost. Like I feel like a blue home would thrive here. That's kind of a cool color. Or what about a yellow? I did say that I wanted to do a bright build today. I'm in a bright mood. Springtime is coming. Today's daylight savings. So I'm like, okay, I guess I can get like a little brighter, a little happier up in here. The sunshine is actually existing for once. I do want to 
make a little deck here and this is going to be where my door is. So I think I'm going to go in with some spandrels in the rules in the description. It did say you are allowed to add spandrels. You just can't delete or change the walls like position. So let's do this here at the front. I'm going to just connect between that here and then your Sims will be able to walk onto the patio this way. Then we can just go in with a fence. I'm actually picturing this one possibly here from base game. I feel like this house is going to thrive in like Florida. I do think I'm going to add on to my shell and just add a room back here. Here. This could maybe be a bedroom in the back or something. Let's do flooring. I'm picturing maybe some jungle adventure. I do want to bring in blue though. I think blue and yellow could be a really cute build. So <laughs> I was going to be like, let's make this really satisfying. And I was going to go up like one by one, but oh my God, it's actually harder than I thought. Maybe we're safer with this color, but then here we can make this a different tile and lead like some sort of flooring up to it. And over here, I might actually make a garden. So I'm just going to go in with some flooring like that for now. Let's do doors and windows get those out of the way because my house is looking very naked right now what about the cottage living shutters in like that lime green i've always wanted to use this color but never really known how i think if we do that we're gonna have to go with a deeper yellow so i'm using this like mustard color from eco lifestyle this is a very bold one but i think we can do it so cottage living windows i'm picturing the sims that live here to be very like happy-go-lucky bright maybe we can do like hippie vibes inside like it could be a couple of hippies that live here hippie friends or I don't know, maybe colleagues. And I feel like sunflowers would look really cool at the front here. Like we can use landscaping to bring in some detail at the front right here in this corner. We can size them up. I love using these little ones from the Sims 4 base game. I feel like I need this part over here to be held up somehow. There's kind of like some overhang and I can't put columns there because of the platform. So this is actually trickier than it looks. What makes this shell difficult is the platforms and the placement of them and the fact that I can't change them around. But in like sneaky ways like this, just for example, I can't put the columns where I want them to, so I have to get creative. There's an item that I think could look good. This one from Get Together, I never use this item, but what if we put this in here and raise it up right up to the roof so it looks like it's supporting it, but there's also going to be that flower feature. That could be cute. We could do a couple of them, like two or three. It looked odd without something, you know? This could be a great opportunity for us to put our trash bin back there and maybe like a hanging plant or some kind of decor. And before I do the rest of the landscaping, I still have this hole up here. So what I think I'm going to do is first of all, go in with some flooring, just some white flooring up here. But I think I'm going to go to the Sims 4 Island Living. And this pack has like a glass flooring piece. So I'm going to hit G to turn on my grid and I'm going to just place those over top. And I'm hoping, oh my God, that was so satisfying. I was hoping that they fit just perfectly like that. And that can be kind of like my roofing. Okay. I think we're on a good track. I like this build. We're going to do the rest of the details. We're going to do the landscaping and then we're going to go inside. Okay, this house turned out so cute. I like the colors. I love the yellow and green. This isn't really a common color scheme that I like to use, but this looks really good on this house. Along the back, I've got some vines going up. I added this little table here, which I'm probably still going to add to. We could put a barbecue back here. Let's do this one with the pink details on it. I have that sun right there and we should do like toddler stuff cups. And we've also got this balcony space, which an umbrella would look really good here. Maybe perfect patio with this table and we can add some chairs. So that'll be the back here. And along the side, again, I just added those vines going up the side from the Sims 4 get together. And this is what we're dealing with for our build for Kate Emerald's shell challenge. Let's go inside. I still have the purple that I put on the outside wall so that I don't mess this up. But my upstairs, I feel like I accidentally kind of made a layout already. So we're going to have the hallway area walking in. I don't know where I'm going to put my stairs yet, but we can do a bedroom in the back. And then downstairs, I need to fix this up a little bit. I have one awkward wall that I'm going to have to make something cool out of. Don't know what we're going to do with that. I can delete this wall here and then that can lead back to maybe we could do a bedroom there, but this room is way too big to be a bathroom. So maybe instead what we can do is like split this down the middle, save my window. And I guess we're going to have to add another one because now I don't have a window there, which is illegal apparently. And it makes sense. It makes sense. When you think about it, it really does. And then we could do door to the bathroom, but then door to the bedroom. But this will be like an add on, like a closet or a skill little mini room or something. And there we can put an archway. And that's going to leave us with, I think this is a pretty obvious living room space over there. We could do a kitchen over here. This is like a room where I don't know what we're going to do with it. You can see it through this floor. So I kind of feel inclined to add like either plants or a fountain. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. But I do need to figure out where my stairs are gonna go before we go any further. I don't know if you guys knew this, but 
but if you put your stairs here and then you press control, it'll show you where your stairs would be if they were going down the floor. I had no idea about this, but it really does make placing stairs a lot easier. The more, you know, <laughs> just trying to make something very difficult a little bit easier. But then I think my stairs will be in a perfect position for the downstairs. Okay, I like how this is shaping up. So we have the cutest color scheme going on in here. I've got this green, yellow, and blue combination here. I found a color scheme on Pinterest, like a color palette. Really game-changing way to, to add some colors to your build. Why was that so difficult to say? I feel like your girl was struggling there for a sec. <laughs> Let's start off with the kitchen. I've added this base game wallpaper on the back there. I actually really like this. It's called Gristle Glue. I see this a lot in some really good builds, so we're gonna use that. We're gonna use maybe some Dream Home Decorator counters. Bring in that blue color there. And with the yellow tones of the wood, I think this is gonna work out. I think I'm gonna put my essentials first before I go too crazy cluttering because I wanna make sure I can fit everything. I think we'll be all right, but I do wanna put a dining table right here. I think I could maybe have it face this way. And for our chairs, I'm thinking tiny living. And I almost wanna bring in a little bit of contrast, like the black fridge over there. I, I kinda like that. So let's do TV moment over here. This is actually lining up to be perfect. We can do our TV unit underneath. I'm gonna use some Sims 4 Dream Home Decorator. I think there's actually a swatch in here too that's gonna match perfectly. Like that one there, there's a little bit of the beige in there to match the wood. And I still need something to fix this like awkward wall piece. So I'm gonna go to Ego Lifestyle. I love to use this here, but I think it's gonna be a little bit big because remember my, my build is up on a platform. So what I'm gonna have to do is shrink this and I think I'm gonna have to layer them on top of each other to get the full length of the wall. I actually also had a hard time with this shell particularly because normally in a shell challenge, if I ran into any platform issues, I would just fix it. But for example, like over in this bathroom, I noticed I'm gonna have to put a platform and like literal stairs in my bathroom because I can't adjust the height of that. So this is, um, it's a sneaky one. I will say it's a sneaky, difficult challenge. By the way, I do want to mention, um, I do these a lot. Like I'll do other shell challenges that are going on in the community. I do like shell challenges from people in my community a lot. And I never do them with the intention of like having the creator like tour them. I honestly don't even want them to. I don't care. I just love to do these. I just want to make that clear. No one ever like says anything like that, but I just really like to do shell challenges, but I would never want to take away from like someone else's community members getting their builds toured. Like I would prefer if no one toured mine <laughs> is what I'm saying. I would rather their community members get their builds toured, but I do like to participate. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to get some art from the gallery. We're going to go to Holy Shimmel Wow. And I actually have some in mind. I go to this gallery page this often. I know what I want from this catalog. These are what I've wanted. I feel like I've seen these pictures in real life and they look so good. So this is what my living room and kitchen ended up looking like. We've got all our cute clutter going on in here. I've got my cutting board from Cool Kitchen stuff. Little coffee maker over there. We've got our clutter on the fridge. Our dining table. I use Dream Home Decorator bookshelves over here as well. This area is a little squishy. I think I'm gonna move this over slightly. And then in our living room, I've got my Holy Schmo Wow art on the wall. I added a lamp from Tiny Living, some hanging plants, and a cute little shelf. And tell me, does this look weird sized up? I added this Tiny Living hanging plant. I'm, I'm torn. Like, this is a very tiny object normally, but sized up like sure. Let's move on to the bathroom because I know I'm gonna struggle in here with my freaking platforms. So what I'm gonna do is build my wall this way. I showed you guys this platform trick in one of my videos recently, but that makes it so much easier to raise up your platforms without wrecking the rest of your house. And I'm gonna have to add my stairs to this side here so that I can put maybe a sink on that wall. Let's do tiny living sink. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of tiny living in this build. So sink right there. Bathtub can maybe go like in the back here. And then even with with those awkward platforms, this is gonna be fully functional. Everything should work out okay. So keeping with the color scheme, I've added this nifty knitting debug rug, this tiny living shelf, and also this dream home decorator painting. And now we're good to move on to our first bedroom. So this is gonna end up being a two bedroom house. I don't think we're gonna have kids living here. Since we are getting hippie vibes, it could maybe be like an Airbnb or like a hostel situation, but like a really nice one. So I've got this going on for my bed area. I think that looks really nice with the orange and the blue. 
blue. And I think what I'm planning on doing in that other room is making a nifty knitting kind of thing. So I've added this knitting clutter over here. I've got the clutter pieces on the ground as well. And I'm looking for something that I can put in there. This dresser is so cute too. This is from City Living. Love that yellow and white. I've added some mirrors in there. I have a fitness stuff rug. And would it look weird if I put a nifty knitting like desk in there or something? I mean, I still have room. I could bring this upstairs if I wanted, but like, will it be too much if I add this in there? I don't think so, right? Then that can have a little bit of extra storage. Ooh, maybe the Sims that live here run a business together. I can see that for sure. Maybe they're young, like friends. They live together because they wanted to be more efficient in growing their business. And their business is gonna be maybe knitting because that's the first kind of skill item that I've put in. Hidden gem that I found recently, actually, I'm trying to find something to put over my closet. Seasons has this like hanging decor. Hidden under this like Christmassy swatch, there's like flower decor. I used this recently in one of my dollhouse inspired builds. I did it in the Y2K dollhouse build. I'll link that video somewhere so you can see it. Um, But look at these. There's also these vines in here, which are really cute. There's like leaves if you're going for something more autumnal. But I'm gonna use these today. They look like hippie vibes. I quite like those. So this is what our bedroom is looking like. Oh, I can just feel those getting stuck in my hair walking through like that. <laughs> this is our bedroom. Super cute, super colorful. Definitely fits the vibe of the rest of the house in my opinion. Instead of the knitting area, I added the closet down here from Dream Home Decorator because I do want to do a heavy emphasis on the knitting upstairs. So let's go up there. This is going to be our main area of the house, I guess. For my bedroom upstairs, I just found this bed from Eco Lifestyle. I think this is Debug. For this sim, I kind of want to do like a collector or something. I want to go in and get some Debug crystals. They can also have some knitting stuff, but I'm picturing, I don't know, I'm picturing this sim being a collector. And I do like how Tiny Living has been looking with this build, so I'm gonna try and use some of that. I'm putting a TV over here with some debug clutter, and this is where I wanted to put my crystals. I feel like I always wanted to be that crystal collector when I was younger, and I just never got into it, but I always think it's really cool when people do, you know what I mean? So this is gonna be a nice little table in my build. These especially, these are so pretty to me. Maybe they shouldn't be on the floor, floor. I don't know if I'm as big of a fan of this one as the other bedroom, but this is what we've got so far. And I want to figure out the knitting area. So I'm going to move out of here, go over to the next room, which I've kind of been putting stuff in here as we go. I think this would help like if realistically to sell for your business. So we're going to have a computer and I'm going to surround this with like knitting stuff. So underneath here, we can put the knitting bag. I want to put this up for sure. Maybe this can go on this wall. We could put the basket on there and actually I think I could probably make a cute seating area too with this stuff. I try not to use nifty knitting couches that often because I feel like they look a little strange. Like they look like clay. Normally when people say that about items in The Sims 4, I don't really see it, but this I 100% do. Like that looks very rubbery to me. So we'll just do a small seating area, just something little to take up the room. I just found this swatch from Romantic Garden. I feel like this would have looked so cool like outside. Maybe we could do something like this over here. Like I'll move this back. How cute would it be if you could hang stuff off of the lattice, like off of the wood. Can I make that happen somehow? What can I hang there though? Like, what are we putting? This area is definitely a little weird, but I do like it. I like that as the background. Wouldn't normally put that in my house, but I feel like it works in a weird way here. I'm gonna shrink down this tiny little rug and put that underneath. That's so cute. It matches the bunny in the box. Okay, I finished up my build. I'm done for the most part. This is what my hallway ended up looking like. I've got these chairs from the Sims 4 Paranormal stuff, some more and tables and things that I've brought from the downstairs to make it all cohesive and my front area looking so cute with that vase from the Courtyard Oasis kit. But I still have this freaking gap that I am gonna be honest, I kind of forgot about. <laughs> so I'm thinking it would be kind of fun to put something interesting in here because I'm like playing around with it. Can't really put a door here because the platform is so high. And at this point, I <laughs> I should have put something in there before. So let's put some sort of like weird surprise thing in here so that if someone did tour it, they'd be like, what the heck is that? Let's put these in here. Oh my God, that's terrifying. And I put these windows. So what if I like put them right up to the window? And if you looked in here, you would just see them like looking, peeking at you. Hold on. You can just see their 
legs. That's so funny. I feel like this is their like built-in alarm system. It's like if you guys ever thought about breaking in here, don't because we've got two skeletons. Those come alive, I'm pretty sure. Possibly. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure jungle adventure skeletons come alive at some point. So good luck if you download this. Um, Let's do the walkthrough. <laughs> so this is how our build turned out. Our shell challenge from Kate Emerald. I moved this to Oasis Springs because I thought it would look a little bit better here. This is what it looks like around the back. Our sims have moved in, getting themselves all situated. This is what the living room ended up looking like. Why is she so angry. And our kitchen along the back. We've got our super colorful bedroom downstairs and our super cute walkway upstairs. There actually ended up being a lot more room in this build than I expected, but into the next bedroom we go. And here we are in our collector's bedroom. I hope you guys enjoyed this build in The Sims 4. And again, you'll be able to find this build on the gallery under Cindy Macaretta and the shell challenge under Kate Emerald. Thank you again to Udi for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description and use code SIDMAC for a discount. Don't forget to like, comment, and and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.